absolutely was not expecting this version of Batista, but that is wild. That is crazy, right? <laughs> that face sculpt looks cool as hell. Oh, that's funny. Um, there's nothing new. It's the exclusive. Uh, I think I'm seeing this for the first time. I think I've seen this for the first time. And we've seen these guys before already, so they have a lot of them. Then there's, I mean, still little things, just Ram Man, things like that. Uh, map Room, Clawful, they got, they, uh, they must have restocked on these two. Yeah. There's more here. And yeah, Turtles, still the same. Okay. Remember this one? One color though. Look at this. Um, wow, Necron, haven't seen that one in a while. Um, is there Joe's? Yeah, it's only Dusty. Only Dusty. G.I. Joe reactions are just thrown about. It's surprising that they're getting this finally. Well, Walmart had it for so long. And... Oh, yes! Look at that. First time seeing Bishop, and it looks awesome. Awesome. The Wolverine's here, Magneto's here, and there's a Scarlet Witch. It's quite messy over here. Look at that. There's Gamora. All the Kingpin figures. Agatha. There is a Wasp here. I bet you that's Salvage now. Yep, all the same. So, nice to see the X-Men 97 restart. Alright people, half off store. Guess what? Pete Fisher is here with me too. Surprisingly. We and, are scoring today. Oh, I know. Good <laughs> lord. Can you believe this? That I, I should believe it. That's just crazy. That's nuts. New stuff. New stuff. Uh, and look at this, Dante. You got to be kidding me. Look who I found, Lothar. Um, but what he found was over here. Look at that. I can finally pick up Photon. I'm not going to bother with Miss Marvel at the moment, but I mean, future Ant Man, Twelve Night, Egghead, and they have a lot more of this. So. But there is more future in man. We got the Bat Cycle, $16.99. Oh, look at that. They got Casey here. $20.99. How crazy. DD, if anyone was really interested in those figures. Look at that. Cobb Van. Now, $33.59 is not good. I mean, it's better than what they offered, but that's pretty crazy. That's a surprise, but I mean, look at this box. I don't even know if they even checked it. Look at that NJ tree. They have six of these here for $26.99. <laughs> that is so crazy. And we got this Boba Fett back in here. But everything else, they still have a lot of the older stuff, which they have yet to mark down. Look at this Triple H. Oh, look, there's Undertaker, too. That's not the newer Undertaker, is it? Uh, it looks like... I think it is. The, or the, at least, of course, the Legends. Yeah, this is more free, recent. Yeah, we put a lot. You're yeah, right. This is a more recent one. Wow. 14 bucks. Eh. Eh. You know they get cheaper at clearance when it's Target. And the Hulk. That's always... All right. Wow, they got three of those shields. Magneto, Gambit... Gamora and Fury. There's a Scarlet Witch. That's cool. That's really cool. Um, I don't know. Let's see. Anything else? No G.I. Joe? That sucks. Oh, look at this five pack. And that's pretty, uh, that's pretty light, man. That's nothing there. What the hell did I just, well, look at you. 12.49. Okay, and nothing new, I guess. Chrysanthemum, Jones, there's Luke. And hey, DDP. I still have these scout bikes too. Harley Race. And seeing this guy again, Hawkman. It's just weird without the, you know, the green colors. So 
I think that's the uh, the uh, Chase one. <laughs> Speaking of Chase, look at this. Oh my God. That's got a lot of like green glow all over them. But that's cool. We found the Platinum Edition. So I'm at a Ross and I'm gonna try to you know, get the sound out. So I'm just gonna talk really close to my phone and see if there's anything good. But this store has been getting a lot of the Van Presto statues. Yeah, see, along with all this nerf, look at all those statues here. Let's see, and Funko Pop. Never seen that one before. And Naruto, the vibration stars are awesome. So that's cool. There's two different vibration stars here. And look at that, a Gojo. That's nice. Extreme effects, cool. Look at this, they, oh, well, they're getting these guys in now. $3.99. And well, a bunch of this, so I don't see any Joes, that sucks. Even on the end cap, they have more. This, there you go. This is a figure I don't have. So for $5.99, why not? What's up guys, how's it going? Great hunt, actually it was a really good hunt. Uh, we're still trying to capitalize on any of the Ross finds, the good ones, well at least the ones that I want. <laughs> I'm not gonna, a lot of it is great. A lot of it is. And if you're a collector of a lot of that stuff, I hope you're able to find that stuff. For me, I'm looking for Marvel Legends. I'm looking for G.I. Joes. I was good the last time with finding the bats, which was really cool. Um, but there are other Joes showing up, like the Tiger Force Bazooka showing up. Um, but I'm still trying to look for that Viper 3-pack. I think I may have missed out on it. I honestly do. I really do think so. Uh, I haven't really heard of anyone finding it in... Pennsylvania or at least close to my area but if you found it let me know I would I'm glad to I would like to know where you found it um what else uh even, oh even with Target Target's getting a lot of new stuff which is really cool we're still seeing that 25% off coupon uh which I did utilize this time around which you may have no you may know which one I picked up so I'm just that's that's something to point out uh and there are other you know discounts still going around Plus, of course, we're still hunting down in the liquidation stores, half-off store. Oh my God, right? There was some cool stuff this time. Um, I'm actually happy that I was able to find some cool stuff. Uh, and thank you to Pete Fisher, um, who I met up with at the store, because he was there while I was on my way there. So we met up. He found some really cool stuff. Glad to see that some of the things that were there that I wanted to pick up, which you guys, I think I have here. For you to see and if i don't then i forgot no it's here it's here there you go uh but yeah I, i'll let's let's just get on with the pickups because that was uh, i'm happy that i was able to at least find some of this cool stuff so here we go so with ross found loki and this is cool too this is actually really cool because i don't have this version of loki we all know that this is a uh uh they they redid this because they said they had this done before then they reissued it on a on a um card i think they updated the face which is good which is really good because there's two head sculpts uh and i'm i'm actually cool with this this is cool i don't have this comic version of loki uh it's gonna go right up there with the rest of like my cosmic characters over there um and i had been looking for this in like loose bins at toy shows um i found some as high or as low as 15 bucks but i always said nah i'm gonna wait and hold off uh but for 5.99 that's really good so happy to pick this one up this is great find at ross for marvel legends so there you go with that and the half off store jeez they I'm, I'm glad i'm seeing newer stuff I'm really glad to see newer stuff there. 
they're still holding on to a lot of older items and not lowering the price which hey whatever their format is that's perfectly fine uh it, it's it's a lot of stuff that's really not going to move and uh maybe they will do it at some point but to find several of the amadeus cho wave which is cool i did pick up photon I picked her up because I love the head sculpt on this. This looks really, really good. Uh, this is a version of Monica Rambeau that definitely can work on my my uh, Disney Plus shelf that I got going on here, which is unusual for me because I rarely have MCU, but the MCU that I do have, man, I found a lot of it on clearance. But this one, of course... This one, I did not ever see at a Target. Um, so, and it, I know it basically it was, if, if it wasn't a Target, it, it went so fast that the clearance went so fast, I didn't even see it. So there you go though. But 15 bucks, that's a good price. That's not a bad price at all. Because I don't think I'll ever see it anything lower than this because Target has already clearance these out. So I will never see it anything lower than this and that's not too bad. Um, but this, I think, I do I have any of these other figures? I don't think so. I really No, I don't have any of these other figures. So this is my first Amadeus Cho Build-A-Figure piece, which I do want to build. So there you have that. And the last one, Target. So... Uh, like I said, I did use the 25% off on this one. I think it came up to like $18. What was it? $18.74 is the 25% off. Plus, I had some Target Circle earnings of like $4.27. So, I only paid $15. bucks, fifteen twenty nine dollars for this. And I'm extremely happy about it. Look at that. We got Bishop. Look at that. This is nice. This is really nice. I... I love the larger version of a character like this, or larger buck, I guess. The head sculpt is very cool. So that's nice to see, you know, this X-Men 97. They all look really good. I rarely got to see Rogue and Storm because I've only found them at GameStops. Uh, but Gambit still sitting around at, at um, Target. So is Magneto. Wolverine is slowly disappearing. But it's great to see the... The paint on this is done very nicely. It's really cool. I cannot wait for this series. This series is going to be really cool. I, I am so excited for it. Uh, but let me know what you guys think. Do you guys have a bishop? I did get one package. I definitely did. And this package is from Ryan. Ryan, LaserPants81. Thank you so much for sending this my way, man. I, I greatly appreciate it. Um, I know we made a trade. Um, and this is awesome. So here you go. There you go. There's laser pants right there. Uh, and you guys may know what this is if you've been watching the live streams and whatnot, but, uh, here it is. This is, we got the starting lineup of Steph Curry. That's cool. Really cool. I haven't seen the Steph Curry in the East coast. Same thing with LeBron. I haven't seen a LeBron James on the East Coast. So this is nice. This is actually very nice. Um, Steph Curry, amazing, amazing player. So it's cool to have this. Um, will I take it apart? For parts, maybe. It all depends on what I may want to use it for. But just to have a Steph Curry, I don't mind. He can go up here. Where up here with Embiid that I have because 76ers, that's that's me. So yeah, really cool. Thank you, Ryan. Greatly appreciate it. And there you have it. That is my haul for this particular toy hunt. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys were able to find what you were looking for this past week on the hunts. Uh, but this week we definitely have Legion's Con. Legion's Con. Legion's Con is gonna be big for me. It's the first time I'm actually vending. I'm actually being an uh, exhibitor, so to speak, because um, I will have a table. I will have um, some of the diorama accessories or toy photography accessories that I've been making this past year, I would say, maybe almost two years of flame effects, explosion effects, smoke effects, type of things like that. So if you've been following my Instagram, um, you may have seen some of my toy photography and how I use those 
effects. So I'm gonna try it out. It's my little experiment, see how Legion's Con goes, seeing how the reception will be with what I have to offer. And I hope it does go well. I'm very curious if it does. I definitely wanna continue doing more commission work in regards to this, as well as continue on to next year for Legion's Con. It all depends, but thank you guys. I greatly appreciate it. Make sure you hit that like, comment, and subscribe if you're new. I would greatly, greatly appreciate your support. Hope to see you soon, and I hope to see you on the next hunt.